how to use the global edit feature in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the new global edit feature that's in Illustrator 2019. Let's jump in. So over here you'll see I've got three different artboards with uh, the same art but resized. This is like a banner, a 22 by 28, and this is like a little three and a half by whatever um, little tag that goes on items. And so I design these for my client every time they have a promotion. And as you can see, it uses the same elements in each uh, artboard. And so this global edit feature is supposed to allow you to like grab just one element and then make changes to that one element across all the artboards or even outside into your uh, canvas space back here. So I'll show you how that works. You want to have your properties menu open here, or you can just pay attention to your live menu up at the top. I prefer the live one because it takes up less real estate, but uh, you can do this too. So if I click on this Lazy Boy logo right here, you'll see it'll give me some options here down to quick actions at the bottom of my properties menu. Um, it'll say start global edit. Also, again, if you use the live menu up at the top like I do, it's this last one right here. Start editing similar shapes together. Same button. Global edit. So if I click it, boom, it will select all three instances of uh, Lazy Boy. And they're really not instances because, you know, you that's what you would call like a symbol. Call it an instance. But these are um, not linked via a symbol. They're just the same kind of shape. Um, but what's cool about this is then I can change the color. Uh, let's just say we did red. Boom, I've changed Lazy Boy to red on all of my artboards. You know, if you've got like 50 different artboards or something, that's very handy to do that. You know, you don't instead of having to go and select each time. Because each of these is a different size. Um, you know, if I was going to do this manually, it would take me a while to resize them. Or it would just take me a while to find them all and shift click on everything. And I might miss a few. And so anyway, just a great way to quickly select simple objects. But I say simple because um, you can't do everything as a global edit. Let me come over here and show you. This is, is another uh, set of artboards for here in this particular case. And these are for like mattresses. And they've got a list of all the things that, uh, you know, features. And I've got pricing. And I've got sort of highlighted prices on things. Anyway, a lot of similar uh, setup on each one of these. And let's say I wanted to be able to edit Queen Mattress. Well, I can't because it's live text. There isn't an option to do a global edit on live text. Even though this is the same, this is the same, and this is the same. They're all the same. Um, but it won't let me do that. So it's kind of a drawback. If you wanted to edit all of these um, at the same time, you'd have to convert them to outlines. So let me just select everything and hit Control-Shift-O. And you'll see that they've now been turned into outlines. It's no longer a live edit, editable font. And I've got the option to start global edit. I can click it. And again, maybe you know, change that to red or something. OK, well, you can do it then. But you can't do it with live um, text. Um, the other thing is, let's just select this. Um, let me come up here. This uh, line right here. So it's just a stroke. Uh, with a dashed uh, setting on it right here. Here are the dash settings. Let's click that and then select all, start global edit. And we can increase or decrease the gap as needed and maybe decrease the dash as well. We could just do that. So as you can see now, I've turned it into just a very dense uh, population of, of circles, basically. Um, so that's a pretty handy tool. The let's look at the logo real quick. Um, if you know, originally this was not grouped. Um, I think it was a logo they sent over, and so it's got like all these segments to it. Um, all the letters are individual, and then the S is split for whatever reason. But uh, if I wanted to change the entire logo, if I select this, it won't give me everything. It's just going to give me that piece, right? Because they're not grouped. So they have to be grouped in order for it to work. Um, this one is grouped. I went ahead and grouped this ahead of time. But if I click Start Global Edit, 
they can't find any similar objects. So um, it's I've got to group this entire thing on every artboard in order for it to recognize it. So just to remember that whenever you are setting these things up in advance, that you may have to make sure everything's grouped before uh, hand so that it, you can make the global edit work for you easier. Because if it's not, let's let's just sh let me show you. If I select every little piece of this and I'm just shift clicking, so I have everything selected, but this isn't grouped. You'll see I don't have the option to global edit, but if I click group, all of a sudden it shows up, right? And now that I have two selected, I can click that and it will select these two. And let's just change it to yellow so you can see. Did not select the two that are ungrouped, but it selected the two that were grouped, okay? Um, another thing, <coughs> excuse me, is the options under global edit. You can do match by size. So if, like these are the same size. Let me create another one that's bigger. If we do this and I come here and hit size, all right. Now it's only going to select those two. It won't select this one, right? But if I uncheck size, it will get all of them, right? Um, there are other options. You can click appearance as well on and off. You can do both of these at the same time if you want. You can change the artboards you want to select. So these would be just portrait or landscape or square. I guess that would be if you're just doing a lot of different, you know, mobile versus desktop. Uh, layouts and you only want to affect changes to certain types of artboards but really I don't see that being all that helpful um, there's also a range I could see this being helpful so what if you only wanted you know uh, artboard one through three let's say but you didn't want the fourth one to change so that, that would be a nice way to exclude certain things also include objects on canvas that means this big serta right here, right? Anything that's in here is on an artboard. Anything outside in the gray would be considered canvas. So if you're like me, a lot of times you will create variations on sizes of things or color or whatever, and you might have some elements floating around on your canvas out here. But if you want to change the color, maybe you want those to be changed as well um, for like later use. Maybe you, you'll decide to swap something out. Um, or use a bigger version or something like that. You know, it might be good to have that checked um, when you're doing this. So, or you maybe don't want to do that. It's up to you, but you have that option. Pretty cool. Another thing I want to point out is that you don't want to use this global editing feature on complicated objects. So, um, you know, this right here is all grouped one thing. And if I, I could click on start global edit, it gives me that option, but I'm going to edit all of the pieces inside. So if I wanted to change something to yellow, it's all going to be yellow and it will select all of these and then change them yellow, which I don't want. But you may want to just um, change the color of the banner on the inside here, you know, this part. Well, and if they're grouped, you know, uh, you can't just select that with your regular selection tool. So you've got to use your direct selection tool. You can also hit hotkey A. And then just make sure that's selected and then come to start global edit and it should grab the three it did. And let's just say we wanted to make it yellow. And then it says this style attribute was copied from original and say, yeah, that's fine. Um, now, of course, I'd want to maybe change the color of the, the white in here to something else. Um, and I'll show you something. This is kind of interesting. Um, so like this is all grouped together, you know, and so it's going to be hard for me to select this. I'd probably need to ungroup and then, you know, find this, um, which is already grouped, thankfully. And if it's that if it's that way in the other artboards, then I can click on Friday. It's also converted to outlines. Click start global edit and I could change that to black. See, it did it here too. Um, but yeah, it's not, um, you have to make sure everything is grouped exactly the same way. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, but 
if it's an obvious shape like this that's you know clearly the same in all artboards works great otherwise not so much anyway let me know what you guys think down below if you've tried out the new feature if you think it's going to be really handy or if it's you know maybe just like eh, you might use it every now and then i feel like personally i probably won't use it very often i'll probably still do a lot of select same fill um, for most things i but in this case right here changing the color of a banner like that i probably will use it so anyway leave your comments down below like share subscribe do all that stuff and then i will see you in the next video